Hello everyone, my name is Alexandra Sanchez and you're watching Get It Together. Today I have with me Molly McKinney, who is a sophomore uh, writing for film and TV major, and I have Brandon Tate, who is a junior television and radio major. Today we will be discussing the black student experience on Ithaca's campus and what Molly and Tate have started creating as a result of their experience here at Ithaca College. So first I'd like to ask why you decided to attend Ithaca College. So basically when I graduated high school in 2015, um, I didn't have enough money to even like commit to a school. Um, so I took a year off and um, I applied to Ithaca and I got a full ride. So that was the main motivation, but I was also really impressed with the um, rate of students that get jobs right after they go to graduate college. And I was really impressed with like the Park School in general and just um, like their credentials and the connections that the professors have and just the like how like the good student experience that everybody talked about when you came and visited and that was in brochures and online and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I chose Ithaca. Um, a big part of my decision is that uh, the previous two years I played football here and I was highly recruited uh, to come out here. Um, I had my official visit here um, and just the, the, the people and the teammates that I had and the people that showed me around the school and, and just the, the all the alumni that I have. My uh, former basketball coach in high school was an alum of here. So highly he spoke at the college. Um, just everyone who ever heard about it had all great things to say. Um, and on top of that, uh, of course, of, uh, financially, they gave me enough money to be able to come here and be coming here comfortable. And uh, so that was the large sum of the reason why I came here because of football and uh, the money that I received. What has your experience been outside of the Park Communication School? Uh, very, very positive. Um, I'm involved in a lot of different things. Uh, I am no longer on the football team, so that's al allowed me to get more invested in the community. Um, just being, I, I was able to uh, join the organization um, Brothers for Brothers, and um, which have now that I'm a co-president of, which I'm very involved with, um, and we do a lot of things for um, the community um, of, of people of, who identify as minorities or color, um, as well as just inclusive uh, events. Um, also, um, had the ability just you know try out different club sports, um, intramural sports, um, and just I, then I declared my uh, minor as an education studies minor, so I've been able to get involved with uh, the community in Ithaca, uh, working for some of the schools at South Hill. Um, I mean, on some of the South Hill Elementary School and uh, other uh, schools and other uh, activities throughout the community in Ithaca, so I've been able to get involved and it's been very positive for me. Um, yeah, so I also have a pretty positive experience outside of Park. Um, I'm a sociology minor and I love all my sociology classes and all my sociology professors. Um, it's easy to connect to them. Um, I also am part of Sister to Sister, which is a group for women of color on campus. Um, and I um, work at Southside Community Center, which is um, the community center in Southside. <laughs> <laughs> and it started out as being like the only place that black people in Ithaca could go for like health care and care for their pets and food sometimes. So I work in the after school program um, as the assistant to the director. And so, like, I also feel like there is a good community of color on campus, um, not only on campus, but also in the town itself. So, yeah, I have a pretty positive experience outside of Park. So what has your experience been inside of the Park Communication School? Um, so I started out as a TVR major, and um, I did have some classes that I enjoyed. Um, that I had a couple, like, one of my favorite pr professors was Gosa Sagai. Um, he was, like, easy to work with and everything was very well explained. But other than that, I feel like um, a lot of part classes require you to come in with a lot of prior knowledge that only kids who went to privileged schools would have. Um, and they kind of expect you to come in with, with all this stuff that a lot of us didn't have the resources to know. Um, most of the professors are white males, so it's already kind of hard to connect to them. And um, they teach their classes with this kind of attitude that you kind of heard a lot of in like middle school, which was like, oh, like race doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're white, black, blue, or purple, which is like, um, it's so hard to connect to and it's so hard to 
to understand anything from that class because in a lot of situations you feel belittled or talked down to or you get made to feel like you're dumb or that like you don't belong in park and it's hard because like I know that my major is what I want to do um, but it's difficult because if this is what I want to do but everybody kind of treats me like I don't belong in it it's very difficult to stay sane. Mm -hmm. um, so I was originally a business major when I my freshman year and actually uh, transferred into the part school and that was as a whole not knowing anything about it and um, has been obviously a, a struggle in the, in the last two years that I've been in the part school. Um, what I want to do is be an on-air personnel um, and there's not a lot of people of color in the part school trying to pursue uh, the same same type of success that I want. Um, I've had difficulty trying to get on uh, ICTV shows um, and I was probably pretty stubborn and ignorant in the fact that I was only trying to focus on getting on air positions and not really taking uh, a, a whole universal view of the television radio program and only behind the scenes and on camera. Um, so in my, in my struggle was there, I also blame myself in the way that I didn't get to try different things out, which I'm trying to do now, learning a lot about behind the scenes and behind the camera and uh, editing and trying out different things. Um, but it was really rough having coming into transfer, transferring into the school, not knowing anything about uh, on camera or behind the scenes, anything, and then not really having anybody that looks like me or anybody who I really could connect with at a, a base to teach me a lot of things at a, a speed. Um, so that's been the struggle of just trying to recently now just learn as much as I possibly can. Also, I'm a little behind because I'm a junior, first semester junior, um, and just trying to figure out you know what's the best way and the the, the easiest transition. Still, I can still find a tr transition to get to where I want to go. I know you just touched on a little bit of ICTV and your experience with ICTV, but could you expand upon Baby Molly, um, any experience that you've had so far with ICTV? Yeah. Um, so ICTV, um, Ithaca College Television, is like a, it's a pretty great opportunity for students. Mm -hmm. um, it's all these different TV shows that are student run. Um, and like it ranges from like a talk show Actually, I don't know if they have talk shows, but I know they have, like, um, variety shows, like um, game shows, um, dating shows. They have a lot of sports shows, which to me doesn't really make any sense because we're a Division three school. <laughs> so they have a ton of sports shows for that. Um, they have a lot. They just basically have a lot of shows. And so um, to get on, you have to go to recruitment night, um, which is all the shows are in one room, and then you are there with like a thousand other people and you're all trying to get a spot as a, either a part of the crew or the cast on the show. Um, and it is a great experience because it gives you a lot of experience in the field and you can put it on your resume. Um, you get to work with other people, which is a big part of the business that we're all trying to get into is working with other people. Mm -hmm. um, but a problem that I've had with it is that it's very clicky, so to, to get into something, you kind of have to know people in it, and usually the people who are in it are white people, and um, usually the people who are on the executive board, except this year I think there's one woman of color on the executive board um, out of like 20 people, um, they're all white. <laughs> and so it's very hard to get into, um, and like I brought up the issue about it last year, and nobody really helped me and I talked again to the new manager I guess of ICTV um, this year and it was kind of just like well uh, go out and try again kind of attitude um, and yeah so I I have not had a good experience with ICTV I don't really have a lot of um, I, I feel kind of like bitter about ICTV even though it is such a great opportunity mm. Do you have anything to add or no? Um, I guess uh, this was my first semester um, on an ICTV show. I'm a floor manager with the kids. Okay. Um, the experience has been positive, uh, taking a step back, obviously getting out of my comfort zone and trying to do different things. Um, and I guess my, I still, I'm obviously still trying to, you know, get to where I want to be in the on-air uh, situation. But yeah, just to add to yeah, just the fact that, you know, um, experience has been all bad, and but like I haven't been able to get the really the help and assistance or guidance to get me to where I actually really want to do. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. In a previous conversation that I had with both of you, you both um, shared with me the idea of a new show that you're trying to pitch to ICTV. Could you maybe explain the concept of it and why you felt the need to create it in the first place? 
Yeah, so our show, um, it's still in the very early stages, and we're working with about like 10 of the people to try and come up with a concept that is doable, especially for students with such busy schedules. Um, so right now, the concept of the show is to kind of show the different struggles that students of color have on campus and um, how like our different intersectionalities affect all of that. But at the heart of this show, we really want it to be lighthearted and we want it to be a comedy. Um, and we want it to kind of like model, like um, Martin meets different worlds type show. Um, so that like, you know, people like students can see themselves in something that the school produces and students can see that they are represented, but they can also not only see their struggles and, and see that we acknowledge how hard it is to be a student of color on a private, on a predominantly white institution campus, mm -hmm. but also that they can see a lot of the humor that we have and how like people of color use humor so heavily to cope with their situations. Um, and everybody does that, but, but you know, the humor that you see in a group of um, black and Hispanic kids or a group of Asian kids isn't always what you see represented on television here and I remember I went to to ICTV recruitment night and they they always do a parody of a show and I just I remember not laughing at anything and that's not to say that it wasn't funny I just it doesn't seem like my humor and what is being represented is the same so that's kind of the goal of the TV show is to to bring representation and to give students of color who aren't getting the opportunity to have experience to give them experience working on a show okay do you want to add? Yeah, um, to go off of that, I um, 100% agree. Um, just to also, the, the the second part of the question was, why is it needed, right? Why uh, did you feel the need to create um, it? So to tackle that, I felt like, again, we've already spoken about the lack of, of diversity that's uh, just in the park school as well. Mm -hmm. And um, just the fact that we're just given the opportunity for uh, many people of color to try different things out. Um, and I know that uh, as of shows that they're not, uh, ICC as a whole doesn't have too many people of color. Um, either on cast or or uh, crew, and this is, gives them you know, another opportunity to get more people of color involved. Um, I know there's a lot of, a huge disconnection with the people of color who are not in the park school to watch ICTV and gets involved in ICTV, and um, it's just given a chance to you know again give something another show and give another outlet. And again, like Molly had already previously stated, just you know something a way for them to you know connect with their roots in a way and um, see things that like I grew up on like shows like Martin, mm -hmm. um, the Wayne Brothers, and stuff like that where it's all uh, comedy and fun, but we still talk about, you know, and their subtle, subtle conversations that are being addressed and things are being addressed throughout the show, um, and just try to give that uh, outlook on this campus. Um, so yeah, just giving an opportunity for uh, more people of color to connect with the show and ICTV as a whole. What do you think the white audience will get out of it? Because we are at a predominantly white institution, and so um, clearly the, on the only people who would be watching would not only be people of color. Um, so what do you think other students are going to be able to get out of this? So much of, I realized that since there's a, a disconnection, there's not, there's not much of a talk. It's like mm -hmm. a bridge that we need, a gap that we need to bridge between uh, just in, in the world, not even just here in Ithaca College. Um, and a lot of it comes from assumption from both parties. So we assume one person lives their life in this particular way. Mm -hmm. And it's just giving more of an insight and cultural background to see that like there's many different ways of people you know to be black there's many different blacks there's many different you know uh all different versions of things that people are just different and there are uh, a lot of things that aren't spoken about that maybe not, might not be in the light and just because a lot of things that happen because of just you know privileges and oppression and stuff that might be out of control it just shows light and sheds light to like if these things are happening and just just awareness um and just the fact that like all of it all of it, yes, is we're giving uh, opportunities to people of color, but we all still want to promote unity and just inclusion to all. So just giving the insight to just about, you know, this is some of the things that we go through, but it's not, it's, the whole point of the humor is not to make it all just bad and a negative conversation. So it's just mm -hmm. like bringing everybody involved just to get to see from our eyes because not a lot of things are being spoken through our eyes. So mm -hmm. um, just that opportunity. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. And I also think that something, like a, a big problem on this campus that nobody really likes to address is that there is definitely segregation within the the groups you know like there's definitely like um, the same thing that you see in high school is like you know the people of color all sit together at one table and white people all sit together at one table and that's not to say that you know white people and black people don't have s 
they're not friends with each other or like there's no mixing but the overall I think there's definitely segregation on this campus and it leads to a lot of misunderstandings and um, just situations that make it harder for there to be like a, a good climate on campus for everyone you know what do you think could be put in place um, in order to make people feel like they belong here particularly students of color I, I guess just the just people who are currently here mm -hmm. already um just get more active i feel like yes there are a lot of things that is but like for example the fact that we already have an opportunity to you know pitch a show you know yes we don't know if it's going to approve but hopefully. the fact that yes hopefully you know just the fact that we're even pitching it and doing that we're getting active we're getting people more involved like the group of people that we have um, we've never worked together before, well, in different mm -hmm. disciplines, but the fact that we've all been able to came together, come together and, you know, pitch ideas about something that we all care about. I just feel like getting everybody uh, evolved in different things that we want to do, because, like, I, I know we're not the only two people who've ever thought about something like that, mm -hmm. but I've, there's not a lot of action that's going behind, so I feel like that's something that, as a community, we should work on. Just the fact of, like, yo, let's just support each other in everything we do. You know, we have an idea, don't be scared to say it. Um, and just find ways to just like you know support each other and I feel like you know taking steps like this hopefully it just encourages other people like all right we have a chance to do things so it might not be in the park school it might be other issues and other disciplines across uh, the campus that people want to implement and don't feel like they can or have the support to um, so just like you know just just showing you know that we got your back and anything that we do um, definitely could help the, the, the culture and the climate mm -hmm. yeah and I definitely think that, like, in terms of the climate of the classroom, um, I just feel like st teachers should, professors, sh hopefully this, the show and what we can portray in, in the show in a comedic way can kind of translate the, like, the anxiety and the just discomfort that students of color go through and just give the professors more of a longing to understand their students of color because I mean even though we are all human we don't all have the same experiences and we're not all the same so just having a lev level of cultural understanding of your students I feel like is really important um, and it seems very underappreciated here at Ithaca you know like they, they like to tote around their minorities and they like to tote around like oh, um, you know, we're a pro very progressive campus, but a lot of the professors here have no interest in going through the cultural training that they offer, or, um, and a lot of the, the staff of color on campus, they're going through a lot themselves too because of, um, like, intolerance or unwillingness to understand different cultures. So hopefully the show can, like, portray that in a way that is funny, but also a wake-up call. Mm. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Hopefully this conversation provides some insight to students, faculty, and professors um, on campus that are actively engaging in ways that continue to marginalize the black students on campus, black students and the rest of the people of color. Mm -hmm. um, but teachers, the way that you teach matters, what you teach matters, and who you choose to involve matters. Your actions affect the students. So in order to address an issue, we need to first acknowledge that there is an issue on campus. We need to get it together. Thank you for joining us. I am your host, Alexandre Sanchez.